What's going on everyone, Cubologist here again, and today we've got kind of a special unboxing. So as you guys know, I normally do WCA, but I've been getting into non-WCA puzzles lately, and this one is kind of a special one to me. Now the person who makes these puzzles, Virus Cube or Virus Cube on Facebook, I'll link that down in the description so you can go check out his Facebook page. But I've always wanted one of his puzzles. He does handmade puzzles, especially ghost cubes. So I never could really afford one until he came out with these mini two by two ghost cubes. And I'm really excited to get into this. So. So as I understand it, this is actually 3D printed. And you can see that the material is actually pretty nice. It looks like the stickers do just fine on this. And I think they're, they feel like just regular vinyl. They might be iron on, but I don't know for sure. Yeah, the accuracy is really nice. Okay, so before we do some turns on this, let's take a look and see how we're going to solve it. The reason I say that is I don't want to get caught solving like this side. You can see that it doesn't really line up when it's solved. So what I want to do is solve one of these two sides. I think that would be the easiest way because these will line up and I'll know that a side is done. So looks like these are going to be really easy to recognize. So I'll probably start with this side when I solve it, but let's do some turns here. It actually, it's really dry and scratchy. Now I've never had a 3D printed puzzle, but by everything that I've seen about them online, that seems to be pretty common. So yeah, this thing turns pretty good actually. It just catches a lot, which isn't that big of a deal. But let's see if we can solve it. All right, it looks like there are the two pieces. So, let's see here. That lines those up. So we know that's one block down there. Now we're looking for a piece that lines up a wide angled piece and then a narrow angled piece. So let's see, maybe this one right here. Does that look like it's gonna go there? Let's try it out. Yeah, that looks good. So now let's find this one. Um, is it that? I don't know, that's got an angle to it and this definitely doesn't. So maybe this one, what do you guys think? Yes. All right, so that was pretty quick first layer. Now let's see if we've got anything oriented. The way I check for orientation on the top is just kind of spin it around, see if it fits anywhere. So that one does fit, that's good. And is that a fit? So these two are oriented. What about this one? Nope, see that's not straight up here. Um, so this isn't oriented and this one is not oriented so it looks like we've got oriented not oriented so i'll do f sexy f prime see if that does anything and oh wow <laughs> amazing i get a pll skip so that is it solved with a little bit of luck, but you know, you only have a Y or a T perm at the end once you get everything oriented. So that's pretty cool. But this puzzle is so much fun. I really enjoyed solving it. I think it's pretty cool to go along with my three by three ghost cubes. And I've always wanted some type of 3D printed puzzle, especially from virus cubes, and I never could afford one. So I will put a link in the description. He said he's gonna make some more, but thank you guys for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed, I hope you did. I'm super excited to play with this, and you guys will hear from me really soon. Talk to you later, bye. Today we're gonna to be talking about the new Guoguan Yuexiao. But first, a big thank you to Cubes for Speed for sending this over. If you want your puzzles at a good price and with extremely fast shipping, definitely go check them out. This is a new 56mm 3x3 produced by YJ and released under the brand name Guoguan. That puts them on the same level as other YJ brands like Moyu and Kong's Design. So hopefully we can expect more puzzles under this name in the future.